So let's download and install GIMP. Open your browser. Go to GIMP.org. And when you get there, you'll see somewhere that it says downloads. Yeah, exactly here. Downloads. And then if you have Windows XP, which we have here, download GIMP 2.4.4 Windows, and it'll say save file, say save file. And I've got my browser to automatically download to the desktop, which is fine. Or you could, uh, for instance, make a little folder under the C drive called Downloads and then a folder inside that called GIMP and put this file inside there if you're really organized. But keeping all of your downloads on your desktop is also a, a decent idea. You can always find your desktop. So we're getting about 360 kilobytes per second, which is a nice speed. 16 megabytes is already here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say open and OK. And we're now installing it. Next, next, install now. It's installing everything it needs. and nearing the end so finish and launch the GIMP the GIMP has a different interface than most programs when it comes up it's in a number of pieces. Here's, let me close this. Okay, it took a while to load up the first time. So, this is the GIMP. It's not like your regular application, which is in one piece. It's kind of scattered around. So you have some tips here. Let's just close that for now. Um, this is your main GIMP window here. And you'll have other windows kind of floating around. But in any case, that's how you download it and install it.